Welcome to Kai Hayes Lifestyle. I am Kai Hayes, the author of Lying at Heart, Discovering Courage and Greatness Within. Today's exclusive interview with my very special guest will definitely rock your world. This is our 28th episode, you guys, and I have never been so excited like I am today. But before I introduce you to you to this amazing human being that I am so blessed to have met last, uh, last week, um, I wish to remind you that um, here at Kai Hayes Lifestyle, we are only focusing on six key factors in life that, of course, relates to many of you. And those are, number one, faith and spirituality. Number two, family, marriage, and friends. Number three, charity, ministry, and advocacy. Number four, health and wellness. Number five, entrepreneurship and leadership. And number six, on to our topic for today, is on travel and lifestyle. At Kai Hayes Lifestyle, we also share powerful stories of victories over sacrifices, including other valuable inspirational stories that might be worth your time. So it's all pretty simple, to be honest. We prefer to focus on quality over noise. So without further ado, allow me to introduce to you my very special guest whom I had a pleasure to meet just like last week. But after meeting him and chatting with him for an hour, I was totally moved by his humility, by his wisdom, by his love for his family. However, I can't deny that I am his avid fan also, one of his avid fans, even before I took off and migrated here in the US. He is so famous in the movie industry all over Asia and I, I believe across the world. So ladies and gentlemen, Derek Ramsey Jr., a famous British Philippine model, actor and host. He was born in Einfield, England, raised in Kainta Rizal, Philippines, by a wonderful couple, his Filipino mother, Remedius Ramsey, and his successful business entrepreneur, British father, Derek Ramsey Sr. Now, Derek Ramsey Jr., or Derek for short, is well known for his role in his movies, English Only Please, and then No Other Woman, and I Love You Goodbye. Also, he became popular for starting off as an MTV, MTV VJ, as a model, and as well as a TV commercial actor. But finally, he studied at a boarding school in England and has a degree in marketing from New Hampshire and Boston. So, Derek, good early morning to you. It is good to have you here at my live show. It is 7 a.m. in Manila, Philippines. So truly, Derek, thank you for joining me today for the love of your fans across the world. So how are you first? I'm, I'm well. Thanks, Kai, for having me on your show. And good morning to everybody listening and watching um, from the Philippines. I think it's uh, um, evening over there, right? So. Oh, um, yes, yes. Oh, almost evening, yeah. I, I already ate my dinner, <laughs> so. Okay, well, good morning from the Philippines, um, and thanks again for having me on your show. Thank you. It's my pleasure, and thank you for being here with us tonight, because uh, I'm sure the your fans are really excited to hear about you. And gosh, um, wow, I, I can't even believe that you and I are talking uh, right now, because uh, <laughs> see, I'm stammering a little bit. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, because, you know, you are very important to me, but you know what? I don't need to get nervous, right? Because this That's is just right. a matter of no, when you you know when you're nervous, you care. So you, uh, I can see the passion. <laughs> I can hear the passion in your voice. How you you really want to reach out to people. So being nervous is a good thing. It's a good thing. What? What? Look at this! Look at this! A 44 year old kind of like giving the wisdom to a 58 year old. I love you, Derek. <laughs> I told you the first time I met you over the uh, Zoom last week. It's like wow. I can learn a lot from this, you know, little boy, like his father told him. I can learn from this uh, beautiful man inside and out because I love the way you really, uh, when you talk, you always have that wisdom. And that's, that's fascinating oh, for you. me because not a lot of uh, people, when I talk to people, not a lot of people carries that wisdom and understanding that you have right now. So thank you. Moving on here at Kai Hayes Lifestyle, we are interested in knowing who Derek Ramsey is, right? Your beautiful and loving family and your life's journey attaining travel and lifestyle. So let me throw in my first question to you. And number one, obviously, Derek, travel and lifestyle can mostly be achieved by breaking through barriers in life, unless, 
a person came from a wealthy background, right? Just like you did. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you came from a well-off family, but yet you believe in achieving your own success in life. And therefore, um, I'm more interested in your own pursuit of greatness. So tell us your story of success and how you became rich and famous. And perhaps you can also mention your love for sports, which I believe that not a lot of people knows that, right? Take it away. Um, you know, the key there is really hard work. Um, I was blessed, very blessed to have a, a, a family, a well-off family, which, you know, my, my parents' success was all on hard work. My dad was a policeman. My mom was working in a hotel in the UK. They met, they fell in love, moved over to the Philippines and started grinding um, for their kids. Uh, my mom always... Her dream was to get every, all the kids through school. That was the most important thing for her. And my dad always taught us that hard work is very, very important. And I saw them grind um, growing up, uh, working late hours, sacrificing themselves for the kids, for the business, and, and finally reading a stage in their life where they were very, very comfortable and gave us probably the, one of the best gifts in my life was to, to see the world they they. they put all the kids in different schools around the world. Um, uh, they, they, they sent us on trips to different countries with wow. and without them. Um, my, my dad sent me to Israel one time to live in a kibbutz. He wow. thought it would be a wonderful experience for me. And, and um, those were the best lessons I, I got. You can't get those lessons uh, in any classroom just being out there exposed um, to, to different cultures, different communities, different people. It's just, you know, you can't learn that in a classroom. So um, after I graduated college, um, I admired the success of my mom and dad, but I told them that, hey, your job's done. Um, you, you've, you've uh, put me through through a great education. It's now my turn to grind. So I kind of left home and uh, tried to find my way. Um, I, I didn't really know what I was doing back then, but I think that's pretty normal. And uh, uh, just tried little things here and there to to try and put food on the table. But anything that I decided to 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 try, I I, I would give two hundred percent and. Wow. I was grinding and uh, I played professional, semi-professional basketball here. Um, I um, ended up joining uh, this MTV VJ hunt and winning that. And um, mm -hmm. I was sent all over Asia to, to um, be a VJ for, um, for MTV. And then I finally gave um, showbiz a chance. They were, mm -hmm. they were knocking on my door for eight years Um before I was in college and I just kept on declining because I know my mom's dream is that I have to finish and graduate from, from school. So I, I focused on that. Um, and yeah, uh, I decided to give showbiz a go and things worked out because of my perseverance. I, I was, I gave 200, 200%. I, I, I was very dedicated. I, I had no idea that I'd be doing this with my life. It was probably the last thing I ever thought of doing. Um, <laughs> but again, with with the the way I was brought up, I decided to to do something. That means I have a responsibility, and I I gave my best, and I worked hard, and uh, it paid off. So uh, I always feel that you know traveling and and seeing the world or buying things for yourself for your family it all it's always nicer when you know you worked hard for it rather than it was just a hand-me-down that's my mindset and uh, Handing it down. um growing up my dad my parents didn't even give me an allowance no allowance <laughs> i just had to ask them for money <laughs> if i needed to or find a way to make money um <laughs> I wanted to get something for their for their birthday or for for if I wanted to get something for myself, and I'm I'm really happy they brought me up that way. Um, they made me see the value of money. Um, mm -hmm. They they still work hard till this day. This is what I annoys know. me. I tell them they have to. 
they never yeah, stop huh? break. even with this whole covid thing i'm like guys please can you just chill already relax um and i and i told him i don't want you to leave me anything spend it all that's that's yours you guys have done a great job with this family wow you've worked so hard um spend it all we we've all graduated we can all take care of ourselves and and um we can take care of each other you you need to enjoy all that hard work that um you guys put in so definitely tell them don't don't leave us anything <laughs> wow yeah. wow what a sweet young man who loves your uh mom and dad and basically i believe based on what you told me right now uh your excellent work ethics um that emanated from your parents because you saw them yeah. you told me that you saw them when while you were growing up and they you know did a great job you know bringing their children uh in different countries that's the open up your 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 eyes uh, you know exploring yourself into the far horizon and that allows you to kind of like grow you know when we travel we grow because and Most then we come back yeah. and then we we see how grateful you know we we need to be grateful for every blessing that we have and i can just sense that um also traveling is one of your love of your life and then the sports and um One question is that um did you ever think that you're going to be a famous movie actor one of the highest paid if not the highest paid actor right now did you ever in your life you think that you're going to be very famous <laughs> like you are right now Um no not at all I I like <laughs> like I said earlier I thought this is the last thing I'd ever do but I was <laughs> I was very camera shy You know, well, you I'm are. the type of guy that likes to face his fears. Yeah, I wouldn't even like, like oh in, in 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 family photos. I'd I'd hate it if I had to go in front of a camera. And, I cannot um, believe this. My, my parents actually pointed this out to me, Derek. You you can't be shy like that. You need to gain some confidence. So when I was studying in Cheltenham, um, in the UK, Gloucestershire, mm -hmm. I said, you know, this is ridiculous. I why do I get shy if I'm in front of a camera or if there's a large body of of people that I have to talk to like I kind of choke up and I'm like <laughs> I have to get over this so I enlisted myself in um I auditioned for the the, the school play the postmaster and, and I landed the role of the postmaster <laughs> I was like oh no and, and how did um, you do how did you do anyway it was it was it was nerve-wracking um <laughs> We we did it in a setting. Uh, it's a it's a box theater, so the audience is actually part of the play. Um, literally, they're like an, an arm's length away from you, and mm -hmm. you're boxed in. So we had uh, weeks and weeks of rehearsals, and um, I told my parents, and being my parents, they flew all the way across the world just to stay the weekend to watch me perform <laughs> in um, the school play. Wow. And uh, that's, that's where I started gaining confidence. Um, Full support you know, Being in front parents. of the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it was, um, yeah, it was, it was really nerve wracking. And when, when I'd shoot commercials back then, they'd fly me in to shoot a commercial. I'd fly back to the Philippines because uh -huh. I was studying abroad. They did have, they had problems with me because I was really shy. I was so shy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so interesting. I, I'm glad that I asked you this question. I cannot believe it. And so our beloved fans out there, this is Derek. She, he was a yeah. shy young man before. So Super you guys shy. got a chance. Right. I never, <laughs> so going back to answer your question, no, I never thought I'd be where I am now. Mm -hmm. um, like with, 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 this, with this career. Uh -huh. um, I always told myself I'm going to be successful because uh, I, I, I said that in my mind. Um, I just didn't know what I was going to be successful at. But um, I made this decision of joining uh, show business mm -hmm. um, after eight years of just declining. And um, yeah, wow. I was like, uh, be, me being, I am very competitive. Right. You don't really compete against your co-actors, right? It's just yeah. that you you wanting to to perform, you wanting to do well. Right. Um, 
Sometimes yeah. we compete with Obviously. ourselves because we want to be the best oh, I, for I, ourselves. I, I, I right? do that. I, I do that all the time. Perfectionist. <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> you are. And so, um, by the way, um, from the heart, I mean, you are an outstanding actor, I must say, because I, I have a very thank standard, you, you. Uh, high standard when it comes to, you know, choosing uh, my favorite actors and actresses, because, you know, when thank I you. see an actor or actress that is no longer acting, you know, like I'm, I'm moved by their role in that particular movie. Now that's a good actor. And you are, because in fact, I just to watch um, <laughs> me and Greg, my husband, you know, watch one of your movies, um, uh the other woman <laughs> yeah so we were like oh my god look at him he's not acting he's just getting into his role that's why he's Thank he's you. really famous you are that's why you are one of the most famous paid actors right so Thank that's you. pretty Thank cool you. Um, it's just continued learning um uh i mentioned this to you before uh when i'm on the set i'm a sponge uh, whether it's from a veteran actor a newbie mm -hmm. uh the director, the AD, whoever, you can always learn something from someone. And um, I, I do that. I, I, I continue to try and better myself with life, with, with my craft. Um, yeah, I just like to soak in information. Um, with regards to my craft, I love to learn from children because they're just so natural. You know, wow. they haven't developed those bad habits. Um, <laughs> I agree. So I agree. Uh, I, I watch children act and um, just see how natural they are. Right, right. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. The children are the best teacher in, yes, in terms of acting because they're not acting. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's that's amazing. That's very clever. Yeah, that's very clever. But uh, you admit that it's tough in showbiz, right? It's it's not easy oh, yes. for people no, who are aspiring no. to be in showbiz. Uh -uh, it's not that easy, right? No, no, it's definitely not. And if you don't put in the work, you're you're not going to get anywhere. There's so many people who who uh, want to be in the industry. There's so many people so talented out there. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically, you know, talent is not just going to get you there. You need to you need to put in the work because mm -hmm. there's so many talented uh, kids out there now mm -hmm. because of uh, easy access to information, um, access different shows watching shows learning from these shows uh -huh. um you know the world has gotten a lot smaller and um uh, th they can learn from from actors from different countries and 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 um use that to their advantage so um you really need to put in the work if if you want to survive in this industry you always have to continue to learn and and and, and um better yourself um because in this industry, you're only as you're only as good as your last project movie. <laughs> your last so, game, yeah. It's tough. And with you, I it's, think it's really you're not tough. gonna have a yeah. tough time <laughs> because, like you said, but, and you know, if it wasn't that you tough, do, you could... I probably I probably wouldn't be in it anymore. Um, oh. I I love a challenge. Life is not supposed to be easy. It, you need a challenge. It needs to be tough. And if if it wasn't tough, I'd definitely be out of it already. Wow. Guys, you, you, you hear that? Derek loves challenge. And that's actually a great wisdom for you to learn because we are at line at heart. You know, um, line at heart is, you know, finding your courage and greatness within. And that's the reason why we are here, not just to talk about Derek as an actor, but, you know, who he is and how he fought uh, all the barriers in his life. So pretty interesting to really know you and taking a deep dive with Derek Ramsey Jr. And I just wanted to throw in what your dad and mom said about you and how oh, they no. describe you as a son, as their son. Uh, the last time I spoke to him, of course, your, your dad and the things that they are so proud of you. And here oh, it is, no. number one. <laughs> they said that you are such a loving and caring person. And I said, wow. And then next is they said that your, that your success in life has been your determination to be the best in every endeavor and you undertake. And that's really amazing, Derek. And then he said, you're also humble and you never forget the people who have helped you achieve your ambitions. Wow. Yeah. 
that's huge for me that's huge but a lot of, a lot of people normally if they reach success oh they they change instantly they're they're a different person unfortunately yeah. that's true yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's sad. That's sad news. And then next is they said that your dedication to helping the less fortunate, your participation with helping the poor children, the habitat for the homeless, including those upcoming athletes you needed in, that who needed inspiration and financial assistance. Derek, oh my gosh, you are a philanthropist. <laughs> And you know how to be grateful. You know how to pay it forward because of your blessings. I'm glad that you're not overlooking these invisible people, the poor, the sick, the old, the unforgotten, because this is what about lying at heart is all about. Be the voice for the voiceless and being able to value these invisible people because they do have value in life. You know, whether rich or, or poor, we love them. They are, they are human yeah. beings, right? So course, this yeah. is one heck of a, a great uh, information that I really discovered from you. And then the last is they said, you love the, you know, traveling and learning about other cultures. And that's, that's the reason why it, um, you became who you are, because when you travel and you see other cultures, that humbles you. And that's why you're different. You're different from any other, uh, you know, actors and any other successful uh, people that I have met in my entire life. So I'm so proud of you. Are you surprised oh, with those? You. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I interviewed Yeah, I your... thought the waterworks were going to start there, you know. <laughs> Every time my parents, we yeah, talk about my parents, parents, I get I'm very, uh, I get very emotional every time we, every time I talk they... about my parents. And um, obviously, you know how much I, I, they mean to me, how, how much they've, you know, they, they play the most important role in my life. If they're the first people I thank with the success uh, I have, um, they, they they are the reason why I am where I am um but it's it's it's, it's really nice to to know that your parents are proud of you um, mm -hmm. uh, yes not the first time they've said it but every time I hear it 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 you know it hits a spot it here touched, so. yeah it, it touches yeah. your heart it moves you I and with that said Derek I I can sense that uh, you have so much respect for them and ah, yeah. I'm getting emotional too because I just <laughs> oh, I just love the way you love your parents. You respect them in spite of your position. It's like oh, I mean, other people probably as as famous as you are. Who cares about my parents? It's like oh, you, no, you, you move me, you that. touch me. You can never do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know a lot of people, and that's the reason why I admire you even more. <laughs> as much as okay. I did before, you are an amazing human being, Derek. Um, oh, I just you. love the way uh, you are. So don't ever change. Now, no. second question is that the world is wounded, right? And we are all patching holes in our lives. And the best way to help other, um, uh, other voices be heard, just like I told you a while ago, is for us to become the voice for the voiceless. So that said, what is the most difficult moment that you faced and overcame in your life's journey? Because everybody has... Uh, you know, we walk through darkness and, and all these, uh, you know, sacrifices and struggles in life, you know, pains. And but how did you break all these barriers in your life? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I, I have gone through my fair share of battles, um, ups and downs, which which is life. That's how life is supposed to be. Um, but it's that foundation again. We go back to my family. Mm -hmm. That that foundation that I have that is solid. It didn't um, break you. Mm -hmm. No, and it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know the, the the love that I get from my family and friends is 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 so strong that you know I can pick myself up from from any failures that I've had. And I've had I've had my fair share of failures in my life. Mm -hmm. um, there was a we very all do. Low point. Yeah, there was a very low point in my life. Um, my whole struggle with with my son. Um, but again, mm -hmm. um, the how love old is he? Support. Sorry, my son is now seventeen. He'll be eighteen this year. Okay, good to know. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and it, 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 we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good um, spot right now. The, the relationship is really developed and um, it's flourishing. But there was a time where it was really, really tough and, mm -hmm. and uh, I really needed to dig deep. 
uh, with patience, with love, care. And I wouldn't have gotten through that without the love and support of my, my family and, uh, and my friends. So just continued to try and climb this wall. It was mm -hmm. a very high wall, but I was successful and I wouldn't have reached the top if, if it wasn't for my friends and family. So again, I know you've heard it before. It all goes back to, to, to the, to the family, to the wonderful family, to the wonderful parents that I have. Wow. Wow. That's, that's amazing. And I believe, and I agree with that a hundred percent because we need to have a support system. We need to, to yeah. surround ourselves with people. Like I said a while ago or two, I, I, that raises our standards and not lower them. And with that said, your support support system is, is the one that's giving you the strength, right? The strength. Right. And, uh, and I'm glad that you are um, improving the relationship that you have with your son. And I'm telling you, you're going to be such an outstanding father, just like, you know, your father to you, because you, you, you're you just, you're, you're bonded, you guys. And I see the Thank love. You. I see the love. And I just yeah, so much. You know, that's, what we, that's what we really need in this world is love. Love, understanding, um, compassion. We're going through a pandemic right now. And we all, yeah. we all need to be you know, together on this, to, to, to defeat this. We need to respect each other. We need to love each other. Um, if you want to get through this pandemic, that I keep <laughs> repeating so many times in interviews that I have here uh, back home, that we, we really have to come together on this. Um, we all have yeah. to make sacrifices. Um, uh, if you want to, if you want to def defeat this, this pandemic, um, so again, we should all like, like be family, right? Um, right. I have, my parents have made great sacrifices for me. I've made sacrifices for, for them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what we read. This is what we need right now. Give and take. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Give and take. Be there for each other. Yeah. Because we all make Correct. mistakes. We're not today, perfect. Uh, yeah. In the world today, it's all about taking right now. And it's sad, taking. right? Mm -hmm. A lot of takers take, in this world. Take, take. Yeah. That's the reason why we're here, Derek, because you know what, Correct. because the world is becoming like full of darkness and darkness yeah. is trying to envelope us. And you know what? No, I will be the light. You will be the light. We're going to shed light and we're going to shed inspiration and hope to our viewers right now as darkness is trying to envelope us because we cannot let that light be put off. Right. Most definitely. It's it's it's, you know, it, it won't win. Um, we we there are win. people out there who care too much that will fight through this. Uh, you're one of them. I'm one of them. Um, this this darkness can't win. It's 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 sad to see um, that it's happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. you, you can see it in the news. Negativity is what makes the news. Right. Um, right? It's, it's it's like if it's not negative, it can't be a headline. Oh, if it's so. not negative it can't be a headline oh my goodness yeah. we spoke about this and it's it's hideous yeah <laughs> it's hideous yeah it is. people don't want to hear about positive news if it's a negative yeah. news oh boom, everybody would love to hear and that even, but... even if it's positive news they'll put a negative headline so that people will read it <laughs> <laughs> oh so you know that. exactly no, shame shame crazy. shame no that's human nature that's human nature Derek but you know what we can fight this even yeah. how small we are, we can fight this. Goodness will always prevail. And that's the yeah. reason why I don't really, you know, like th this is like I, I told you a while ago also uh, when we were speaking, I choose to sit with the winners because when you sit with the winners, the conversation is different, right? <laughs> let's yeah. let's yeah. Uh, cross yeah. to the success land instead of the loser's land because those people who want to talk about negative things are actually belongs to the loser land, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> losers land anyway so uh moving moving forward i have another question for you obviously you have reached massive success in your life in your acting career in your business endeavors including sports because i heard that you played frisbee football soccer and basketball right yeah. in other words you are always on top of your game <laughs> because you always give your best whatever you do <laughs> however i'm just curious is there any significant other than your parents, of course, because I, 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 I know that you love your parents so much, who, who were some of the people uh, like 
your friends or what significant people who are part of your success? Wow, so many. Um, oh, so many. Okay. You know, so that's, um, the, the, somebody might get jealous, so don't mention names. <laughs> I know, but there, there are people who've been there like that. Like with my career uh, in show business, I'm very thankful to Miss Judy Ann Santos, who, when I was entering the business, was on the top of her game. She was like oh. the biggest actress um, out there. And uh, I, I haven't proven anything. And she agreed for me to be her leading man. So I've all, I'm, I'm always going to be thankful to her. That mm. kick-started my career. Um, you know, little things like that. I, 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 it always registers with me. I'm always very, very thankful for, for um, things people do for me. And I never forget. Um, so just that opportunity that she could have easily said, oh, why would you give me somebody new? Why, why don't you give me somebody who's, mm -hmm. whose name is up to par with me? Mm -hmm. um, but she didn't do that. She, she, uh, she was like, yeah, she gave me an opportunity and then got followed up with a second show right after. And then really? that kick-started my career. So, wow. um, yeah, favors, definitely with my career. That's what you call favors, yeah. Yeah. Receive yeah. favors, and guess um, what? I receive favors from you. You are famous, and I am nobody. I mean, I'm I'm just you know Kai Hayes, the author of Lion at Heart, and you know I'm successful in my own simple way. But guess what, Derek? You paid paid it forward. You didn't even hesitate to say yes to me. Just I just thought, Derek, can you guess in my love show? And I can't really afford you, <laughs> but you said yes. And, and that is really amazing. So, so the reason why we, we have to give and take and we help one another. And thank you. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing my show. Because you, you, you know, your core values oh, align with my core values. You're such a real, wonderful human being. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And wow, final, I'm final question, Derek. So much praise. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And final question, Derek, because we are the topic is on travel and lifestyle. So, with our which, um, because you are a world, world traveler, obviously, right? And you're living mm -hmm. an amazing lifestyle that others would love to have. Number one, could you name a few countries that you love to visit and just tell us briefly why? Okay, wow. Um, I, I first off, I love this country. I. I I love wow, the Philippines amen. so much, and um, I've traveled our country extensively. I, I built a house in Palawan, which is probably the most beautiful place I've ever been to in the world. I, I love the beach. I love being outdoors. So I was able to tick off, you know, um, one of my um, dreams uh, of building a house by the beach and uh, I, I built it in Palawan together with my, my parents. Um, mm -hmm. So the Philippines is a beautiful place to, to visit. The people are wonderful. Um, it's the country is so rich. Um, and uh, thank you. <laughs> it, <laughs> I it's, love it's Philippines just, too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing place. Yeah, there are a lot of things that you can complain about. True. Oh, man. Endless list. But there's something about um, this country. And I, I really think it's the people. The people are... Um, you know, it's a third warm. world country, but the people are happy, warm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I love it here. Um, I love Japan. I love the whole culture of Japan, the discipline, Ooh, the respect. that's good to know. Yeah. That's the, good to know that you love Japan. The number one is the respect people have for each other over there is just out of this world. If we could all emulate that, we wouldn't have problems in our world right now. It's just, they have so much respect. Amen. And with the history of the Philippines and Japan, it, it's so hard to believe, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And the honesty, but, honesty yeah. in Japan, they're so honest. The, mm -hmm. Seeing seeing that history and, and seeing what's happening there now in present day, it gives you hope that, you know, this this world can be a better place, right? Right. Um, well, I've been all over the world. I, I love, um, well, the UK. Um it's my other half, so I have to answer that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, love, I love UK too. Um, I visited UK twice. Yeah, I love it there. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I love and your that's patriotism. Your place. Yeah, the patriotism that the English have. Oh. Um, I, I, I really admire. But other places, I've 
I've been over in South Africa. I've been to Northern Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. It's wow. Yeah. It's be beautiful places. Um, uh, Couture. Uh, I just, mm -hmm. I, I went, that was the last country I went to visit. I think it was Couture. Um, uh, former Yugoslavia, Couture Montenegro. I was there. It's beautiful. Um, Israel was was wonderful. I, I learned a lot in Israel, living in the mm -hmm. kibbutz. Kibbutz Afikim was the kibbutz I lived in. I stayed in Jordan too. Um, beautiful place. Got to visit Petra, and it's just really majestic. Um, wow. How about well, uh, yeah. did you learn other language? Did you what what languages do you speak? Um, I speak the, the English, Filipino. I, I know a little bit of Spanish. Um, mm -hmm. I, I studied French in, in school, but I think I've forgotten that. But, you know, just little words here and there uh, of every country that I, I go to, like China. I, you need to learn how to ask, where is the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> and how do you say that? You still remember? Siso, siso tien. <laughs> okay, I'll try to remember that. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and yeah, then uh, um, when you do travel, Derek, who do you love traveling with? Wow. Um, Any significant uh, other even, or your brothers or your parents, whatever. Uh, I, lo I love traveling with family. I have so many unforgettable memories of, of the family traveling together, especially the one that we did this one month travel over Europe with our family, I think we were 20, 20 over 20 um, people flying around with kids. And we had about 40 pieces oh of luggage. God. And my dad was the leader, the captain. Okay, from Switzerland, we're going to take the train to <laughs> Italy. And I go, dad, with 40, you know, pieces of luggage, including golf clubs and kids. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> And you know, in, in Switzerland, everything is on time. The train oh, really? gets there and the train departs on time. So we came up with this system of just throwing these bags on the train. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were very um, popular with everybody <laughs> over there. Like we, we'd come up with the system. We, we'd like form this chain and we'd just pass the bags and then just <laughs> chuck it into... Because we'd have like literally three to five minutes to get these 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 um the luggage on the train and the that kids fast. on the train. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my yeah. Goodness. So I mean, if it travel, you know, family and friends, it's 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 more fun if you travel, um, with 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 more people. But I have traveled alone, alone? Uh, nu okay. numerous times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can call it soul searching and and and. So but every time searching. that I do, there I end go. up making I end up making so many friends. Like when I traveled to South Africa, um, hmm. I picked up a, a, a mate that um, he was all by himself taking pictures, and mm -hmm. I approached him and said, "Hey, would you like me to take your picture?" And this guy became one of my best buds, and wow. for five years straight, he spent Christmas and New Year here in the Philippines with my family. So oh, that's amazing from stranger yeah, yeah. to becoming a best friend. That's yeah. a gift. Yeah. You'll never know. You, you never know. You just kept your door open and here you go. God has given you a great friend. Right. And yeah, is there yeah. anything that you want to before, you know, I ask you for just giving hope to our viewers right now. Is there any film that you're making as so that you want to sort of like uh, let the, your fans know about? Um, well, I had two movies lined up from uh, last year, but with the whole pandemic, it's been moved. Um, oh. But I will be starting uh, a new soap. Um, I'm starting on April 12th. We'll start shooting that. Um, we just went into to, um, GCQ again here in the Philippines. So uh -huh. we were scheduled to start April 12th. So I'm, I have a feeling it might be moved back again. Um, but yeah, I have a, a teleserie with uh, GA um, uh -huh. called "To Have and to Hold," and, uh, to and to hold. hopefully we that. can that's start the title? grinding that. And uh, um, yeah, that's the title. Yeah, and uh, I love that title. Get that can so we can um, bring it out and 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 and, sh and show all of you guys. Um, 
But for now, we're being safe. It's really bad here in the Philippines. We're having 8,000 cases a day. Um, ah. So oh I goodness. guess this is uh, the third wave and it's, it's, it's hitting us hard Terrible. over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be there April 2nd, but, uh, you know, locked down uh, again. So I had to move yeah. my flight, hopefully in June. Hopefully things will be yeah. better. So I, I hope to see you too. And uh, yeah. yes, definitely. And then uh, lastly, can you share your thoughts? Is there any words of wisdom that you want to leave our audience right now? Or just, you know, the wisdom that you have acquired in your life's journey or maybe favorite quote from a favorite mentor, things like that before we close this? Well, for me, I, I, you know, I, I have it even tattooed on my back. Um, what can oh, kill you okay. makes what can kill you makes you stronger. Um, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> of course, yeah. what can kill you makes you stronger. Definitely. You know, the the best thing I can say is that when you wake up and you're alive, um, you you should respect that. And even if you're going through tough times, you you wake up and you're alive. There's always opportunity. For you to to get over um, whatever you're going through with life, or for you to go out there and, and chase your dreams, you know, um, I've always told myself that problems, and we all go through them. Problems are just solutions in disguise, and uh, uh, you just have to keep working hard, finding solutions to these uh battles and problems that are thrown at you um and and that's what life is life tests you so like any test if you prepare if you work hard you'll you'll ace it so i oh, I, remarkable. I i'm very thankful every morning i wake up and uh, i get to see the world i'm alive i get to see my oh parents my i get gosh. to see my loved ones so. You are so remarkable. Guys, did you hear that? He's so grateful. Be grateful. Be thankful yep. for just even waking up every single day and, you know, go fight for life. Derek is actually a true lion at heart, a warrior in life. And so uh, before we close this, I've got a, a surprise for you because, you know, this, this lady is my very good friend. And she was screaming when you say, you're really talking to Derek? You're really talking to Do you know that I'm the number one fan of Derek? You know, and so I will be getting her, if you don't mind, I would like to invite. She wants to say hi to you. She wants, it's, it's a dream come true for her. And so I know Derek Ramsey Sr. said, you really love your fans and you'll do anything for them. So, and um, I'd like to, oh my God, call in Emmy. Okay, this is your dream come true. Take it away, Emmy. Yes. This is Derek. <laughs> Derek, Emmy. Hi, Derek. I'm so excited. I mean, you <laughs> not believe I was screaming when I found out that Kai um, is calling me in for a surprise to say hi to you. I'm your uh, avid fan before I even moved here in Texas. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. You, you're you're living screaming. in Texas? Yes, I'm here working as a microbiologist in one oh, of the small wow. town. In wow, how long ago was that? 20 plus years ago. Oh wow! So you and haven't still, you haven't been home? Um, four years ago. But oh, I've okay. been watching your movie over and over and over. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. You made you made me so excited. This oh, you don't know, oh, Derek. You don't know oh, how oh, she's oh. so happy thank right you. now. I, I, you, you don't so know. Much. Last night she was screaming like, you oh, know, oh. really, really. I'm so nervous. What will I say? What I just say? Just say hi to him. I <laughs> know. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet, and we love your story. I mean, love oh, thank you. I really yeah, appreciate sure. the love, dear. I really do. I really do. Thank you so much. Yeah, we get to know the real side of Derek, right? And thank you for honoring our show, Derek. Uh, Most I trust definitely. that you also had fun because I really did have fun uh, yeah. with, with you tonight. And uh, so honored to have met you. And uh, gosh, continue to be loving, sincere, humble, smart, and everything beautiful. So Derek, we love you. I <laughs> uh, love you guys too. Let me know if there's anything else that I can do. Um, you know, I, I admire your, your, your passion and in, in trying to yes. change this world and, and help so many people. So let me know if there's anything I can do and I'll, I'll be aboard. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really speechless. 
we love you, Derek. And uh, in behalf of our Linus Circle uh, of Hope, you know, a uh, circle of light, so circle of courage. We have this line at heart, freedom movement, movement journey, who's spreading the, you know, hope and inspiration. And they're watching right now and making some comments to you. And they would love to meet you one of these days as well. So say hi to them, Derek, and, and uh, give them your love. Thank you very much. And Emmy, I love you, girl. Thank you, Derek. Thank we you. love you. We love you, okay. Clyde. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Ciao, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.